Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be learning about the water cycle with an experiment called Rain in a Jar. By the end of this lesson you'll have learned more about how rain is formed and what happens during the water cycle. What we will need is a 2 litre glass jar, a ceramic plate, ice and boiling water. But first, can anyone tell me any dangers or possible hazards here? That's right, boiling water can be very dangerous, but can anyone tell me why? What are the possible dangers to ourselves or anybody else? And how can we limit the dangers whilst using boiling water? Now that we've identified the risks, I'm going to safely boil enough water to fill this 2 litre jar halfway. See, as you can see, I've marked my 1 litre mark. I'm going to fill the jar with boiling water right up to there. Now that I've boiled my water, I'm going to very slowly pour it into the jar with the halfway mark. I've also put a towel down in case we have any spills. So very slowly, I'm going to pour my water in. There we go. And now I'm going to put the ceramic plate on top of the jar. Can anyone tell me what will happen once I put the plate on the jar? Well, it may be hard to see, what this plate is actually doing is stopping any steam from coming out of the jar. And steam is what happens to water when it boils at 100 degrees Celsius. When it boils at that temperature, the water inside the jar will evaporate and turn to steam, going from a liquid to a gas. And what this plate is doing is trapping all the steam inside the jar. As you can now see, there's a lot of steam and water forming on the inside of the glass as it has nowhere to go. Can anyone tell me what will happen when I put the ice on top and it cools the jar? Seeing as how we're learning about the water cycle, if you predicted that the ice is mimicking clouds, then you were right. Because as the cooler air condenses on top of the jar, the steam around the side of the jar will slowly condense back into water. And this is how rain is formed. Now if you look very closely, you can see all the water droplets that are formed on the inside of the jar slowly connecting and dripping down back into the water. And this is how the rain cycle works. When water is heated by the sun, it will rise up as steam into the clouds where it will cool and condense in the cooler air and be brought down, back down to earth as water, changing states, going from a liquid to a gas back to a liquid.